Everyone, welcome back to Nicole's World. Today we are having a, a quick little seafood. I don't even know if you want to call it a boil. I was just fainting for seafood. So let me say grace and get it so we can get it in. Amen. Y'all, let me eat a little bit. But I have some shrimp with the heads. Some of the heads then fell off. Um, and some snow crab legs. Listen, and right here is the PB butter sauce if you look at like three videos woo, ooh spicy if you look at like three videos down you'll see my review on it but i love this sauce y'all oh i'm about to choke so i got this from the commissary oh hold on y'all <coughs> that old bay just hit me in the back of the throat lord Oh my God, so, excuse me. I got this from the commissary because I had drill today. If you're new here, I'm in the military. Well, I'm in the reserves now, so. Once every weekend. I mean, once every month. One week in a month. See, the heads fell off. She steamed them to death. Like, I like my heads. Um, one week in a month, I have to go to, you know, do drill. We call it drill. Report the base and, you know, you do training and all that good stuff. So that's what I did today. So we have a commissary, which is a grocery store, but you got to be military or dependent or whatever to shop there. Mm. And they have a seafood section. So I was like, you know what? I want some freaking crab legs. Mmm. A little lemon. I wasn't even planning on doing a video, y'all. All my heads fell off. I like to suck the juices out the heads, but you can get them steamed. So they got a fresh, um, they got a seafood stand so you can get fresh seafood and stuff. I should have cooked these, the shrimp myself, though, because she didn't steam the head. The head supposed to be juicy. Um, so I got them steamed. So I got a half a pound of these and a pound of crab legs. And yeah, 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 yeah. And these were actually, I thought that this was a lot for, um, it was a lot of shrimp for a half a pound. Oh, y'all, this sauce is setting it off. I was just like, I want some seafood. Y'all get y'all a bite. Look at that sauce, so chunky. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Today has been a day. I went out last night. We tried this new lounge nearby. But we went pretty early, y'all. We went like... We got out like 7.15. Because I had drill this morning. So I had to get up at uh, 6. Because we had to muster. At, um, at uh, 7.30. So we did like an early set. The food was pretty good. The salmon was so good. It was called, it was supposed to be blackened salmon, but to me more, it was like a more bourbon salmon, but it was so good, fresh, hot. Ah, uh, the macaroni and cheese, I give it a two. It Something was missing. It wasn't right. They had like smashed potatoes. They were good. Um, drink strong and good. Music. I don't like when a DJ play radio editing music. Like, we're adults. It's a 25 and up. You got to be 25 to be a female and get in. You got to be 30 to get in as a male. So we, we, we pretty much grown. Like, <laughs> we're grown. Don't play the radio edited version song. It's annoying. That was my only thing. But other than that, cool vibe. We did say we want to go back later. Like when it get popping. Because it turns into like a club vibe. But we left at 10. So, I was in the bed, sleep by midnight. Um, cool little vibe. But, y'all, I got to put y'all on. If you are moving or you just want to redecorate your house or... 
if you want some home like decor or furniture you have to find like uh, Brian Holmes built my home so that's the builder so they've done build it in the neighborhood so the model home of course they've got to sell that um they selling all the furnishings inside so they had an auction and when I tell you, when I first went in that model home, I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my God, I wish I was moving in here. They had ever decorated so well. So the lady was like, oh yeah, I can give you the SKU numbers for everything and where we got it from. And I was like, okay, cool. I ain't never get it. But they put a flyer on the door last week. Look at this. Yummy. So they would be auctioning it off. Oh, God, I'm making a mess. The stuff from the model home. So, I have made sure I logged on to that auction. Because I really wanted three mirrors that they had in their dining room. That's what I really wanted. I wanted three mirrors and I wanted the coffee table books. But when I looked, they had a bedroom. A bedroom set, a full bedroom set. Well, they had the full set, but... Not a full set. Yeah, but I just wanted the bed... The matches in the box for him. So I bid on that stuff. I bid on the mirrors too. They had got up to $86 a piece. So times that by three. Plus the $20. Uh, not $20. 20% buyers. Fee or something else. So just. I'm like yeah. That's too much. I'm going to get it for a deal. So I stopped bidding on that. Lord these, these are seasoned to perfection. Um. So I stopped bidding on that because I really had my heart set on. I wanted an area rug too they had, but they had got the $61. I'm like, nope, I'm trying to get a deal. So I stopped bidding on that too. So I was going hard for the um, that mattress, that bed, and that box spring. Like a, a complete bed, like headboard, toe board, mattress, everything. I wanted that. So, the auction ended today at 10. So, I'm at drill. We had our first class petty officer meeting, but I got the auction pulled up on my phone. Mm. Because it's almost 10 o'clock, so it's winding down. Y'all, I got that bed within seconds. The thing was on like uh, 50 seconds left, and it was telling me I was outbid. And I'm like, how do, how do I bid? How do I bid? I'm scrambling. I'm like, how do I, you know, up up my bid? I up that bid. I waited purposely until it was 30 seconds left and bid on it. And I won. So I got the centerpiece, the coffee table books, the bed frame, mattress, box frame. How much y'all think that was? Just guess in your head how much you think that would cost. Like I went to a store. Y'all, I paid a total, like, out the door, taking it home. It's my $334 for all that stuff. You cannot get a good mattress for $300. Brand new stuff. Oh, it's just in the model home, so nobody, like, laid on the bed, nothing like that. I was so freaking happy. And shout out to my little brother, because, okay, once you win the stuff, and this me thinking, I wasn't even reading the thing right. I thought we picked it up tomorrow. So if I would have won my bid, I would have had time to, you know, set somebody up to be here to, you know, get my stuff for me. It was today. My friend Misha, she lived in the neighborhood too. She was like, nah, girl, you got to get it today between one to four. And if you don't get your stuff, you, you just out back and they take your, and you don't get your money back. So I was like, oh my God. So I called up my little brother. I was like, bro. He go to my house, you know, let the person in, like what time. And mind you, he got his own stuff going on. He was like, I'm on the other side. Um, I can get there by like 2.15. I'm like, okay, let me call the moving guy. Okay, so the people do, uh, if you want to deliver, it's a moving company that works for them. So I hit him up. He was like, okay, it'll be $125 minimum. So he charged me $125 to get the stuff from the auction place, load it up, and put it upstairs in my uh, guest bedroom. So that got set up. My little brother was like, um, I was on the phone with him. He texted me back. 
Well, he called me while we was on the phone just discussing other stuff, too. He was like, no, actually, I'm going to go back that way now. See if he can bring it now. I was like, oh, my God. So, shout out to my little bro. That's what family is for. Like, you know, looking out. I was like, thank you. I owe him big time. Because otherwise, I don't know who else would have been here to get the stuff. But I literally would have left work if I had to. <laughs> But it's hard to leave drill. You know, you're not supposed to leave. You only did one week in a month. But, yeah. So, if you're looking for uh, for stuff, let me know. And I can, I might, I can, it's a, it's public. I can put the link in the description. So, because they, they all throughout the uh, U.S. Literally, wherever Ryan Holmes build. That's where they have one. So, I saw Texas up there, Atlanta, some other states too. I was like, oh, this is a come up. Because I've, I've been wanting, you know, I've been kind of putting off decorating that guest room. I'm going to bring my sauce back here, y'all. I'm going to dip this egg in here. But now, I got the bed. I got the bed frame. And now, I got the color. So, it's going to be white. And I probably... Make it like a white and blue or white and I don't know. But out. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all yeah, hungry. But now I got to put that bed frame together. And it's pretty simple, I'm sure. Headboard, side panels, toe board. I, I'm sure I can do that. I got a whole toolkit. Like, I can figure it out. If not, I know people that can come help me. But I'm so happy. So, yeah. If you're moving or you need new stuff, find you an auction for model homes. So, that was good. That that was a highlight of my day. I just feel like it's so late. It's only 5.38, y'all. I feel like it's so late. But after this, I have to get some stuff ready for drill tomorrow. Um, just prepare for tomorrow. And then I'm going to chill, look at some TV, look at some shows. I'm going to look at that while I... Because the stuff I need to do for drill is on the computer, so... Make myself comfortable. This dinner. Um, you yeah. know. I was almost saying, like, I wish I could sit up here and do an ASMR because... I really, this won't supposed to happen. I was not planning on getting this, but I had a taste for it. And I did good today with my meals. For breakfast, I did the protein shake and iced coffee. You know how people do that? You've probably seen that before. So good. Filling and you get in uh, your caffeine. I did that for breakfast. Lunch, I had one of them already pre-made salads that you get from the uh, vegetable or produce section in your grocery store. And some trail mix. The only thing I didn't do enough of is drink enough water. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the night. She steamed these a little too much. But. <clears throat> still good. But she steamed the mess out of them. <clears throat> Are y'all ready for Thanksgiving? The stores packed. But. I got everything I need to make my two dishes. So I'm going over to my sister's house and I'm bringing banana pudding. My famous banana pudding. And um, a pumpkin pie. Now, I never made a pumpkin pie. But I'm going to make a pumpkin pie. I got the crust today. I got the stuff for the filling. So I think that's going to be good. Because I am not. I don't want to fight with the store. It's already starting to get, you know, you know how it is before the holidays. But I would say the commissary got, they got everything you need. I'm so, I went to um, another commissary yesterday and all they had was gluten-free pie crust. I'm like, I ain't going to do that to nobody. Because I can tell the difference. And Thanksgiving, I don't know who need to hear this. Thanksgiving is not the time to experiment. Stick with your strong suit. Stick to your strong suit. Don't be experimenting on Thanksgiving. Ow. Shit. Ugh. 
I had the shell in my tooth. I was so pressed and hungry to eat. I forgot to get the scissors. But I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving. It's going to be a good long. Mm -hmm. Y'all might get a, a mukbang with a special guest. I have a special guest coming for Thanksgiving. So y'all might get a mukbang with a special guest. They said they want to do a uh, video. Mm. So we might get on here. Eat some wings. You know. The weekend. Mmm. Mmm. That egg and that sauce. It's so good. Woo. I wasn't even supposed to be doing no video. But I couldn't leave y'all out of this, you know. I had to let y'all share in a moment, huh? Get y'all a little bite. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> she won't skip in on the um obey. And I told her to do medium. I don't want too much obey now. Mm. Did y'all look at my last video? Um, this permanent retainer behind my teeth. I gotta be very careful. I think we about to come off, but I'm not paying. No damn. What I had to pay last time? Two something to get it replaced. Well, I think that I paid two something for the retainer. What did I pay for the retainer? One twenty five. Excuse me. One twenty five to replace the retainer, but to get the permanent retainer fixed and put back on. Mm. She said two twenty five. I was like, insurance? Yeah, running insurance. So I haven't got a bill. So hopefully my insurance covered that. Cause child, not cheap. So I need to be I'm not biting these and preserving my dang teeth. Cause. It ain't, oh, it ain't cheap to fix them. These are meaty too. Oh. <clears throat> Y'all eating too fast. Mmm. Oh. Feel like it almost went through my nose. I'm gonna eat one last shrimp with y'all. I'm so mad about the heads on the shrimp. I like to suck that and get the um, get those juices out of it. She cooked them too hard. But they good, but she overcooked them. She dried out my head. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time seeing me, please subscribe. You know, I do mukbangs. <laughs> I do mukbangs or mukbangs, however you want to say it. I do uh, lifestyle vlogs. I post fitness clips in my shorts. Um, in the shorts. Oh my God, this sounds so weird. Y'all know shorts. <laughs> like basically stories for YouTube. I post them. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. So yeah, don't be strangers. Shout out, hello to all my returning subscribers. If you haven't seen my last uh, Shein try on haul, go look at it. It's 20 plus items. Give you some ideas on potentially what you want to buy or what you want to buy for somebody else. If you're a male, you might want to give whatever woman in your life a gift. I look at Shein. I give you the full details. You can see how I look on the actual person with a real baddie, not no made up model, like real baddie. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great weekend and have a happy Thanksgiving. I know a lot of us do not celebrate it in the sense that it was established for, but mentally I celebrate Thanksgiving 
uh, as a time to be with family and to be with your loved ones and to share a meal. So I hope you guys do have an awesome Thanksgiving. Um, and I will see you guys next time in the coast world. <laughs> Look at my dirty hands. See y'all.